This is New Hampshire Cross Country, powered by Runners Alley and Marathon Sports, coming at you from the Division Three State Championships. This year's Meet Hub brought to you by Tim's Truck Capital. D3 girls are on the line now. We've got New Hampshire ranked number five, Hopkinton. They're the top team here today for and D3. And they're all here too. That's right. Guilford, Newfound, Newmarket, all looking to make some noise, as well as Fall Mountain, Trinity, and Conan. Should be pretty good on the team side of things, individually as well. So we'll turn to Mike and Jimmy. What are we thinking? We're thinking one thing. Maddie Lane. Maddie Lane. Oh, Maddie Lane show, for sure. Uh, yeah, she's been running great all year. She won Capital Area the other week. Um, on top of that, her teammate, they went 1-2 at Capital Air, Shaylee Murdo, definitely don't sleep on her. You've got the O'Shea sisters from Messenic, where I used to coach, that have been having a great season as well. Caitlin kind of started the year a little bit on the slow side, but uh, has run really good over the last little bit. Um, you've got Fall Mountain's Jenna Fillion, um, again, kind of similar to, to Caitlin O'Shea, where she uh, has been a little uh, slow start, but is running really good now. Guilford's Maria Tilly, um, certainly going to be keep that one in mind as well because Guilford sh should be in the hunt uh, for a top five spot. Uh, Newfound's Emerald Briggs and Kaylee Irving, Dave Irving's daughter, uh, they're part of a, a kind of a three-headed monster there with another Addy Alpers, um, and they should be looking to try to get one of the upper spots there. Newmarket's. Uh, I always say this wrong. Ellis, e Elias McKenna. Eilis. Eilis. Uh, huh? Eilis. Okay, there we go. Like, I always say it wrong. Uh, but she should be up there as well. She's having a great season. You got Raymond's Leah Unger, Sanborn's Caitlin Stalker, and then both Burroughs, Haley Watts. Yeah, Caitlin Stalker comes over from Division 2 last yep. year. Sanborn got moved over. So that ought to be good. She's a champion yep. runner. Yep. yep. So it's going to be interesting. Look at that, though. That whole line is pretty much being used on this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, 30 somewhat teams in division in division 3. I'm not sure. You know, the, the big difference, the race might not be a lot bigger than some of those other races in total numbers because we probably only have 20, 25 full teams, teams that are going to uh, end up in the scoring and stuff like that. The wind seems like it's died down a yeah. little bit. Yeah, it a little does. bit less than the last meet in D1. Uh, nice sunny day, good temp for running, though. So expect some good results here. Uh, true 5K this year. Of course, is different than years past. Uh, stays a little bit more on the grass. Avoids some of that mud section as well. So... Uh, all change is kind of in favor of the athletes, and hopefully we got really good races ahead of us. Top five teams move on, so that's nice. Yeah. That's a little bit of a change. Yeah, because it used to be uh, you'd send, send six, and now they're going to do top five and then three at large to try to make things a little bit more fair. I kind of think that's I think that's a good good change for yeah. sure. Even as a former D3 coach, I yeah, still and especially we you, you know you get the at-large bids. That's, that's <laughs> yep. good. If you've got a good team, they can certainly still go anyways. So Mike, we know that Hopkinton comes in as the only D3 ranked team. But who else are we kind of? What do you what do you think is going to happen? Uh, I, I think you're looking at uh, Newmarket, Hopkins. I mean Newmarket. Um, Guilford and Newfound. Well, we'll see as they charge up the hill at us. This is your 2024 Division Three Girls State Championship. Looking Maddie like Lane right out to the front. Early lead from her. You can see her out in white. I see the O'Shea's over there with Fillion on the far side. Shaley Murdo right there. You've got Amelia Hill of Conan. St. Thomas's top girl, there's Haley Watts, there's Maria Tilly. Over here is Caitlin Stocker. It's early, but I'm calling this race. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can do that. Getting good size fields here with all the different teams. We'll see how all those teams are looking just a little bit further down. All right, here we are, about 600 meters <laughs> in. Maddie Lane with Maddie the lead. Maddie Lane, 600 already. meters in, is like 10 seconds ahead of second. That yeah, looks like t the two of Shea sisters are 34th already. It's going to be Murdaugh and fifth, Maddie's teammate. Stalker from Sanborn. Tilly from Guilford. Yes, sir. Tilly from Guilford. They're already trying to rip is Maddie Lane. Trying There's Stalker from Sanborn. Murdo. that's uh, Hopkinson. Hopkinson's two. 
Jerry Phil, Philion from Fall Mountain, and then Ike McKenna from Newmarket. Two Guilford, two. And here we are. Two Newfound, two Newmarket. It's tough to see at this point. Everyone kind of comes at you pretty fast and close. Oh, yeah. So. Oh, yeah. Robinson without the pan out. I thought he was on he the was pan out. He was supposed to do the pan out. <laughs> I'll take that one on the chin there. Yeah. We're going to have to uh, this is a boogie here. This is a pretty strung out pack for 600 meters in, isn't it? Well, this is one of the largest races of the day, Ben. It has the most teams. Does it? 34 teams. Whoa. This is just what Speaking of teams, is all about right here. The top teams coming in. We're looking at Hopkinson. They already did that in the first quarter. Oh, well, I'm not shot. mentioning it again. Hopkinson's looking great so far. And with that, we're going to head to the top of the hill because, gosh, we, we got to go. We do. So that looks like Maddie Lane with a huge lead, as yeah. expected. Top returner by a lot. Yeah, I'm looking to wait to see who, which team that is. There. I believe they're, they're one and two, or two and three. Okay, we'll see when they get a little closer. Probably Messinics. That's what I was wondering. Is the O'Shea maybe. sisters? I'm guessing, but I don't know for sure. That, that was going to be my best guess too. Yeah, I think that is Aaron yeah. and Caitlin O'Shea of yeah. Messinic. But, yep. and then from there, there a significant lead. And then from there, we'll look to see where Hopkinton is because they're definitely Caitlin Stalker in fourth. We're going to be out there. Maria Tilly of Guilford in fifth. Third. This is Derry Field. Hopkinton's number two. Yep. Raymond's first. A couple from Newmarket there. Newfound's New got a few. Hopkinton's four, four and five. Yep. Yes. So they're, they're way out in front team race here. Yeah, they're up there in the top top 20 and 30. Looks like they have all their five. Boy, this is really spread out, though. Remember how we've been talking about how some of the races have been really spread out, others have been pretty packed up. This is extremely spread out. Yeah, you, there's really no, no, no teams really packing up at all. Just all spread out. You got a few teams that are packed up a little bit up front, but after that, it's just... All spread out, no cohesion. This looks like Hopkinton's six looks to be. It's again one of the teams that we're looking to more or less take the team title today. This looks like it's our largest race of the day in terms of number of uh, competing athletes. Yeah, it's been nonstop, just keeps going pretty line to line, full cruise. <laughs> The big pack of Trinity here. Newfounds, I believe, sixth. Newfound trying to get in there again. Team's trying to fight for a spot for New England, or excuse me, we have champions. Yep, top five are automatic qualifiers. On paper, we don't anticipate any at larges, but you never know. Yeah, definitely with Division Three, it's really anybody's game after Hoppington, really. Yep. But we're going to send it back over to the one mile. Maddie Lane out in front. You can see Way at, out in front. at this point she is by herself approaching this one mile mark. She's passing it right about now. That's a Aaron O'Shea in second right now. Oh, 550 at the mile. Wow, that's going. Yep, she looks good. We look into the sun, we do see O'Shea there, as Is you mentioned. Right? 605. Okay, perfect. Perfect, you're doing good. Mike, of course, retired coaching. <laughs> wow. Never comes out of your blood. No. So Stocker in third. We've got Caitlin O'Shea in fourth, right there with Shaley Murdo. Shaley Smart, she's going to run a great second half here. Dairy Field School with someone up front, and then Maria Tilly to start the scoring for Guilford. So Hopkinton, I see market. 
three, I see four, I see five. Talkington three, there's uh, Newfound's first, their second, Irving. Hopkinson's fifth, crossing the mile mark Gilford's now. Gilford's got a pretty good day. They got three right here. Three right there. They, they're, they're better up front than Newfound, uh, but then they're a little further back, or they have been. I don't want to jinx anybody today, for sure. Conant, Campbell, Portsmouth Christian, Portsmouth. Trinity. <clears throat> As we kind of expected in this race, gets a, a bit strung out by the one mile. There's Newfound's third there. It's Guilford's fourth and fifth. Fourth and fifth. Hopkinson's sixth. Right there. So I see Newfound's fourth and fifth back there. They're going to have to move up if they're going to create any damage on that Guilford team. So right now we've got Hopkinton in the one slot, Guilford in the two slot, and we found it looks like we're recent, well, unless we missed something somewhere. Top five teams do get the auto bid for Meet of Champions next weekend. So everyone chasing Hopkinton, but you still, okay, yeah. goal is top five. Yeah, and I, again, new markets somewhere in there and trying to do the counting, I kind of lost track of what their numbers were. Um, you know, additionally, that trying to sneak into that fifth spot, we've got Fall Mountain, Trinity, and Conan, I believe, but pretty tough to tell in Division Three this right. year. Good group of Kearsarge there, a couple of them, Conant, Guilford, Inner Lakes. The B of Berlin, the old classic B there. Yeah, there's only a couple of girls from Berlin today, I guess. Yeah. A bunch of them from Trinity right there. Again, we're at the one mile. Once they get past us, a little bit more pavement, and then they're going off a pretty steep hill. Yes, um, I've done it twice today. Into the, the woods, nice loop back there for the entire second mile. And then uh, a little after that mile marker, they, they head back down and come down to the fields. So pretty good looking race right now for Hopkinton and Maddie Lane out in front. Command, out in command for sure. Yeah, so we'll go ahead, we'll throw it up that hill and see how they're doing up front. All right, here we are, Maddie Lane coming up the hill. Already with a big lead. Spectators still getting in their position. Still no one coming around the corner. This is going to be a time trial for her today. And so Lane on this tough course right now, we're at 7.20 on the clock. But what, do you, what do you think this is, about 1.2 miles in? Yeah, give or take. And then we got the first O'Shea sister in second. And he's just trying to work the course over here. And O'Shea is there too. She's not too shabby herself. And that's looks like Caitlin Stocker from Sanborn in third coming around the corner, followed by Murdoch of Hopkinton. And I believe that would be the other O'Shea sister. Elise McKenna making a move with Tilly from Guilford down the hill a bit. We'll see them in view here in a second. Newfound's number one coming around the corner. Hopkinson's number three, Emerson, I believe that is. Newfound's number one usually is Emerald Bricks, the editor of their team blog they've been doing all year. Raymond's Unger, Leah Unger, I believe that is, is next. So Hopkinson now with four before anybody's second. That's pretty impressive. I mean, they are New Hampshire's number five team coming in. Irving's newfound second, Newmarket's second. We're really kind of looking at who's the second, right? Because Hopkinson is going to have this one in pretty much well in hand. Guilford's second and third. There's another newfound there. It's Hopkinson's fifth, I believe, right here. I believe you are right. And as you can see, this hill is killer. Yep, and I just think I see one runner walking off the course. It's just tough. Okay, guys walking down. All right. But here we go. This is where it's one or this is where it's it's first Michael, or Michael. second or so around this to upper hill here. It does seem like Hopkinson's got a pretty commanding lead right oh, yeah. now. Sanborn's had second. some pretty good numbers come through. Yeah. New market, like you mentioned, newfound as well. And we're 
go for with that because Lane's running so fast. Alpers from Newfound coming by. But with uh, Lane running so fast, I guess we gotta get to we the two-mile mark. Right, Maddie Lane at the two-mile mark. Heads up. Clock's looking at 13 flat right now. Looking Here really go, good in herself. Right. Here we go, Maddie. You got this. Ben making a rookie mistake. Come on, man. Commanding lead. Yeah. So she came through at 13 flat. We'll see what seconds coming through at. But 13.30. Oh, Shea. That's O'Shea. Man, they, they run them strong in the scenic. She looks great. She might catch a leaf. Great coaches out there, I've heard. <laughs> Well, legend just retired, Mike Smith. Yep. Don't let him hear me say that. Wait, he's going to probably listen to this. And we'll see who's third now. So I believe it was Stalker coming through the, through the top of the first yep. hill. If she gets to here, she's in good good situation. So you got 30 seconds. Yep. There's Murdoff from Hopkinson. And second and third. And there's Murdoff. Murdoff from Hopkinson. And then there's Stalker from Sanborn. Gives Hopkinson two in the top O'Shea, three. that's five. And there's Eilis McKenna coming. Stalker looks really good right now. McKenna running a really smart race. She'll have a nice descent. Here comes top, uh, Briggs from Newfound with Maisie Emerson and Tilly from Guilford. That's Hopkinson's third, by the way. Newfound has designs on podium. That's their number one. Let's keep an eye on them. That's Guilford's number one. Cecilia! This is Dairy Field. Dairy Field's number one. They should know how to run this course really well. Oh, Unger from Raymond. Dots. Unger from Raymond. <laughs> They're right around the corner, Ben. <laughs> Unger from Raymond. <laughs> Guilford's number two. So now we can start keeping score, Benny. Hopkinson's, Hopkinson's number four. four. Irving from a newfound there, number two. Hinsdale's number one. Moldenboro's number one. Guilford's number, what good number is this? Four? Guilford. Three? Four is, is rich. I think that's three. Three. Mananock's number one. Newmarket's number two. And there's Hopkinson's fifth to seal the deal. Another model run, obviously, but that's looking really good for Hopkinson right now. They won two years ago, Messinic last year. Of course, with Christian's number one. So now let's, start, let's see, let's see here. Newfound needs to have a pack coming through, or Guilford needs to have their four or five come through, and we'll see what the team race looks like. Campbell's number one, Fall Mountain's number one. I guess Holy Family's number one. Samor's number two coming through. Trinity's number one. This is spread out. There's no, I mean, besides Hopkinson. Out. There's no big packs right Hopkinson now. definitely is w winning. They're going to win. But the rest of the teams, who knows yep. right now? Very easy to count these numbers. I mean, everyone's just coming through one by one. Belmont's number one. Samor's number three about to come around the corner. St. Thomas, number one. There's, There's Albers. Newfound's number three. This is going to be a battle for that second place plaque. Newmarket's number three. Guilford's number four. Guilford's number five. So right now, Guilford looks like they're in the driver's seat for that runner-up position. First Muscoma girl, looking forward to the Muscoma boys trying to win their first title in I don't know how long. They have a pretty good runner up front. The Guilford girls look like they might be second today. They're looking good. Yeah. It was Newfound's fourth. New markets fourth. It's going to be a battle for third place, I think. It's insane how you're keeping track of this. I'm trying. I can't even. It's easy to keep track of your team when you're coaching. Oh, yeah. But when you're trying to give information for all the teams, it gets a little confusing. Training looking good. All right. What's that? Mm. Belmont. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This is a very thinned out group of runners. Another newfound runner. St. Thomas, three or four from them. Cody. 
opponent, I think that's their third, second or third. Another Belmont coming. Another Belmont. Belmont has a little pack going, relatively speaking. Profile. Profile's head has made some noise this year. Hinsdale. Kier Sarge. All right, and with that, we got one more race, one more climb of the hill to go, Ben. One more. It's been a long day. And we'll send it down to the bottom of the hill and the corner. Here we go. It should be. We're just paying Maddie Lane. Yeah, we can hear the crowd. Yep, and yep. It is there she is. Maddie Lane. Let's we'll see how much of a lead she has. She was pretty dominant last time we saw her. Team to a team title too. So this is the first time. Yeah, substantial lead. Last time I saw her, she had a pretty dominant win at the uh, Capital Area Championships just a little over a week ago. And here we go, one of the O'Shea sisters in second, as we last saw. First. Lane's got about 100 years, maybe a little more. Pretty big gap after O'Shea as well. So big gap between one, two, and three, anticipating the other O'Shea sister to come around. But with how big this gap is, might have to cut it here and skip over to third mile shortly. Oh, Hawkington's, I believe this might be Murdoe. I think you're right. This is Mer Hopkins Murdoe in two. So they're sitting one, uh, one and three. Actually. One and three, that's a really good spot. And oh, then Hopkinton's man. three is in fifth. Might be moving up to fourth. Here's, uh, ahead of the other O'Shea. Guilford too. And the other O'Shea sister. Yeah, so Hopkins is looking to try to get one, three, five. That's uh, McKenna of Newmarket as well. And Stoke, Stoker of Sanborn. Here she is, Maddie Lane coming down. She's cruising. Coming up to the final corner. This is about the third mile mark. And she's going to get to us right around 19 minutes through three. It's pretty good. And there's no stopping her. She's got a solid lead. Maddie Lane coming around the corner. Finishing stretch, huge lead at this point. Second place. And she's, Aaron O'Shea is 300 meters back. She is not letting up. No, she's not. I don't think it's in her jeans. I've, I've watched her probably the last 500 meters or so, and she's just pushing it. She continues to push it. The 2024 Division Three state champion, Maddie Lane. Maddie Lane, nice job. Take a look down the straight. And cut in the corner any minute now. She, second, I should say. we just saw Lane have the largest lead of the day. Typically at this point, we will have seen second place, but haven't thus far. And again, we are expecting it to be O'Shea. She was leading a little while back, or in second place. There, there she we is. go. On the turn. Shaley Murdo is closing in, however. I've all, I, I'm super happy to have seen Shaley have a good season this year. Kind of nicked up at the beginning, so this has been good. Great run by Aaron O'Shea. Fantastic. He's had a really good season, and uh, I think um, I think she's she's learned what it takes to run with the big girls now. Shaley Murdo. One and three for Hopkinton. Yeah, that's their second, so that's something to keep an eye on. Again, Hopkinton was winning at the one mile when we saw them last. We've got Emerald Briggs just turning the corner with a... <laughs> She's not alone. Girl. You've got Caitlin Stocker. You've got McKenna of Newmarket. You've got Caitlin O'Shea. You've got Maisie Emerson of Hopkinton. This is the way it should be, right? And Maria Tilly of Guilford. Wow. All battling.
Look at that. O'Shea's gonna be four. Wow. Fantastic. So that starts that starts the uh, scoring for both Guilford and Newfound. Newfounding having a slight advantage here by one place so far. The other girls lose their way? That seems so. Oh my god. So again, Hopkinton with three, Messenic with three, Newmarket with Messenic three. Messenic with two. They only have two. <laughs> they wish they had three, I'm sure. Oh, so now we've got the Dairy well, Field. Yeah, I was school. reading Dairy division. Field. There we there go. Field. That's why. So there's Dairy Field's top girl. Didn't even make it into the, the right up. I don't know who she is. I wish I did so I could do this. You got Leah Unger of Raymond. Guilford's number two coming in at Georgia Eckhart. There's Hopkinton's four. That was Anna Faislat, oh, Jerry Field, a freshman. Nice. That's why I don't know her. And then you've got uh, Haley Watts, Moltenboro coming in. This looks like it's Reese Bove, if I've got it correct, from Hopkinton trying to finish up. Hopkins fifth. There's Guilford's third. Here comes Newfound second. And unfortunately, I should know this girl's name from Hinsdale um, because she really came on earlier in the season. I'm a short of Mananock. And there it is. That closes up the scoring for Hopkinton. Trafton. And this will be New Market's third. I do too. Portsmouth Christian. So again, Hopkinton does have five across. Guilford now three. has three. Messenic has two. Messenic will only have two, Greg. New, no. Newfound has two. <laughs> We've got uh, Holy Family Griffins. I have Newmarket with two as well. Newmarket with two, that's possible. So we're waiting on, really what we're waiting on is to see Guilford, Newfound, and Newmarket at this point. Here's Trinity's first, starting the scoring for them. They have an outside shot of being top five. Here's Fall Mountains two. Sanborn's two, I believe. Yep. And I believe we're looking at a Guilford down there. I know I see a new market. I mean a new found. Oh, Sanborn, I left them out of it. There's their three. Hopefully no one will fault me, seeing as they're just down to Division Three this year. I might have been made mistaking. There we go. There's Guilford's four. New Market's three. This will be this will be Newfound's third. Guilford's five. So Guilford's going to take second. Dairyfield now has two in. Manadnock's about to have two in, but I think they might only have two. Much like Messina. There's Lily Marmondo from Conan having a solid race. There's Charlotte Kemper for four for Newfound. There's another uh, Fall Mountain. So they're definitely still in the mix. Hopkinton sixth for good measure. <clears throat> Again, right now, only two teams with five plus across is Hopkinton and Guilford. Guilford. We're waiting on one more from Newfound. I know Newfound had some sickness go through and they were kind of hoping that they were done with it. Uh, and they usually run a bit tighter than this, so I'm guessing that maybe not. Moldenboro has a, a handful in at this point, too. Here comes another one for Newmarket. This will be the third runner for Moltenboro. With a cartwheel. Uh, and this that'll be the fifth coming in right now for Newfound. Charging down. Wow, that, that's, that's gaining. The Hornets, right? Oh, Yellow Jackets? Good to know. There we go. This is finish up Newfound scoring. St. Thomas must be in the scoring pretty well, too, now. Wilton's number one. 
Here's Hopkinton seven for good measure. Stealing some points from uh, some of these schools that haven't got five in yet. So again, Hopkinton is going to sit at that number one spot. That's Guilford looks like they'll stay at number two. Newfound currently sitting in third. Again, still plenty of displacement to happen, still plenty of teams to score. Yeah, but at this point, like we're looking through, we don't see anybody necessarily in the straightaway that's going to bump those numbers higher for Newfound, I don't think. I mean, really, we're looking at what? Fall Mountain, Sanborn. Maybe St. Thomas. We've got 65 no plus finishers at this point. Yep. I saw one of Belmont's uh, was already in medical. That's not, that's never a good sign. Opponents number two. Not have, usually they're number one, so not having a fantastic day. That might be make it tough for the Orioles to pop into meet a champion. Well, I see their third right there. Look at them. Saw Philly and the results. She wasn't in that group. There was a whole group that came in. Huh? There was a whole group that came in together. I thought she was in that group. You know, there was like six or seven that came in. Prospect Mountain, Conan. Here's another Fall Mountain. So yeah, if they don't have Billion, then no. they're not gonna be able to pull Their uniforms are easy. Yep. They must have, they have <laughs> the, the best uniforms in the state. We may have said that a few times before. Here comes another new market. It's a great finishing sprint. Well, this will definitely, we've got, uh, well, Newmarket and Prospect Mountain just both got their fifth across. Belmont's about to put their fifth across. The, yep, and they just bumped Prospect Mountain with it. So right now, our top five, Hopkinton, Guilford, Newfound, Newmarket, and Belmont, two points over Prospect Mountain. Wow, and I didn't call that. Scotty's going to have my head for that one, and he should. <laughs> Again, I like I said, I think I saw one of their athletes in the... Uh, Med tent after the first lap. Let's we'll see if that even actually holds. Yeah. Lead right now. Another Sanborn, Trinity, and St. Thomas. Man, I can tell you right in the previews for this is tough because we, you know, I don't, I, I don't think I've seen Sanborn anywhere except for their own home meet at the beginning. St. Thomas, I don't know that I've seen them anywhere but there either. And as easy as it should be able to get results, nobody sends them in. They're hard to find sometimes. Of course, Mr. Christian. Woo! Can pass there. By the Yellow Jackets. Hopefully, a Conan athlete will make the line. They're doing a little sideways run. Team side of things, we've only had six teams with five across. Not uh, too much of a surprise for D3. A lot of teams, not all of them uh, with big numbers. Half the, half, the, half the score of second place. Yeah. That, that's a top five team. <laughs> top five New Hampshire team for sure. Another surge here. They look really good because I've seen them. Um, I can't remember where I saw them. Oh, I think it was that Capital area, and you're a little nervous. They they five strong, and you're just like, you know, little illness, little nicked up can really make a big difference. But they look good today. They look real good today. Well, again, your top, uh, we'll call six teams here as Campbell gets their fifth across. Kearsarge with their fifth across, too. Top five teams, Hopkinton, Guilford, Newfound, Newmarket, and Prospect Mountain. Prospect Mountain sitting in fifth. Belmont in sixth by two points. Wow. One point now. So very close one for that fifth and final secured spot going in the champions. Wow. See if anything else shakes out, but we got to get ourselves ready for the boys' we side do. of things. So, once again, this is New Hampshire Cross Country powered by Runners Alley Marathon Sports. Meet coverage today brought to you by Tim's Truck Capital. And this has been your 2024 Division Three Girls State Championship.